Until next week today, again, Zubuntu 1204, the final release. Yes. And as you've noticed, I've given it a little while, haven't I? I'll give it just a little while, a week or so, to make sure the iron out, iron out things have got ironed out at the end of the day, and it all works hunkity-dory. And I must report, yes, it does. Now, to my surprise also, uh, one of my clients up the road, okay, old guy, he's all, he also was running e, Ubuntu, sorry, Zubuntu 11.10, and when it came up, it said, do you want to upgrade? And so he clicked it. And I went, oh, no. Do you know what? It only upgraded all right. Fine, fine. Took, took most of the stuff out and put all the new stuff back in. And he's very happy. Uncle Dory working with 1204's Ubuntu. Yeah, so he's a happy chappy. Anyway, I'll show you a quick look around again. I shouldn't have to do this, but I will do just in case none of you have ever seen it before. Okay, because some of you might not have. And some may. Right, then we've got a little flip-up bar. You can make this permanent, by the way. You don't have to have it hiding, but I do. So you can minimise all your windows. There's your web browser, which is Firefox by default. Your mail reader, which is Thunderbird. Oh, yes, indeed. Your terminal, okay. You've got your settings manager for doing all your stuff in XFCE, okay. An application finder. The software centre, which is the Ubuntu software centre, basically, at the end of the day. Abbey Word to do your Abbey Word stuff. Should we open it up and we'll see what one we end up with in the final release? Oh, and there it comes up nice as well. If we go to help, about Abbey Word, 292, thank you, I love you. Goodbye. All right. Also down there, <clears throat> we have G Music for your music, okay? All right. They like it. They like it. Personally, I will be checking that one out and putting something else in. But GIMP is as standard. Oh, yes. Now, remember, the new version of GIMP is out now as well, so you can actually get the new one if you want to. Just pop it over and get the PPA over at GIMPy. And yeah, Bob's your uncle, and Fanny is your aunt with the new GIMP. Some other people have already done some videos on it, so I'm not going to bother, really, because I do it all the time. Okay. Anyway, so that's that out of the way. Yeah, so Gimpy works, Uncle Dory, I'm liking, see you later. So that's enough of our flip up bar, really, isn't it? Oh, by the way, you've got your folders here, so I can open it up. Look, you can open whichever folder you want to, really, when you think about it. And of course, you've got that rubbish bin here, look. And it says waste box. See, boys, you've done it. You put rubbish bin up there, and you've left it as waste basket there. I'm going to report a bug about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, oh, why, oh, why? Points of view and all that. So, yes, there's our two panels. They're not bars, really. <clears throat> now, what I've done, I haven't done too much. I'm going to do a couple of bits and bobs of what I would normally do when I first install Zubuntu for myself, or an XFC version of Linux, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to add a couple of items to my panel. So, first, I want a CPU graph to show you how many CPUs doing. So, I'm going to add that. So that's that one in there. And there we go, right then, there, can you see? Got my little panel there with my stuff in. What else would I normally put in? Uh, network monitor I would also put in sometimes. Should I do that? Yeah, we'll add that one as well. And there's my network monitor, and that's done. So that's my panel done there. Don't forget you can do all the transparency of the panel and stuff like that if you want, or you can just leave it as it is. I think you should leave it as it is, personally. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. A bit more drinking is down, so about that. Bit of a sore throat today. Anyway, we go on. <clears throat> right, as you would expect, Got some nice new little icons, but they've been really sorted out, don't you think? I think they're rather nice. You wouldn't normally recognise it, but they have made them stand out, even though they're so small. So that's pretty good. Well, I'll go to our settings manager first. Just get that one out of the way. It looks all different. Now, remember, Zubuntu, sorry, XFC 4.10 is available in release candidate and the PPA. The word on the street is you'll be able to get it very, very soon for this anyway. Okay, so that'd be nice. It'll be all ready to go. So that'd be cool. XFC stuff. Does your desktop, your mouse, keyboard display, does everything you want to do here. So I'll tell you what, I'll even go put some more workspaces in. That's how good I feel today. So now I've got me four workspaces, hunkily dory, I'm happy about that. Okay, that's enough of that bit. Okay, back to settings. Don't forget to do all your language and keyboard input stuff here, onboard settings, network connections, and your settings editor. Under accessories, accessories, not even a drink today. Archive Manager, usual leaf pad for your leaf pad stuff. Orage, I like it. XF Burn, that will also be in multimedia, I imagine. And your terminal and your screenshot capture thingy. Would you, should we do one of those? No. Oh, yeah, we will do. Okay. So I'll get a bit of a delay going down there. So if I go 5 and click OK, we can do some stuff while we're doing it, can't we? Look. So under games, you only get five games. Now, you can get others if you want to. Oh, sorry. And there's my screenshot. We save that? Yeah, you are. You will save that. We'll save that in my pictures. Lovely. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Games. Can get some more games if you want to. Lots of nice games to get out there. Really nice games if you want to play some. 
PDF viewer, a Gimpia standard, G thumb, Restrata, and simple scan is also here. For your internet, as it's accessory, it's Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird Transmission, and XChat. Multimedia, G Music Browser, Change If You Like. Parole is actually using a bad video player, I must admit, but you can always get VLC. Abbey Word and G Numeric, and under system, Giggle, Startup Disk Creator, Synaptic is also here, which I like, and your Task Manager. Don't really need to look at that because I've got one up there, but if you want to, there you go, look. Not using no CPU, no memory, it's like, zoom, I've been laughing. Okay. Okie okay, then. Ubuntu software center, do you have a quick look? Yeah. If you've got Ubuntu installed, you know what it looks like, but if you haven't, I'll give you a quick look. Hang on a second. Uh-oh. Really dry throat, sorry. We'll wait for it to open. This is the only slow bit on it, actually. Now, I must say, if coming up from 11.10, if you are coming from 11.10, you will find 12.04 a lot snappier and quicker. For reasons I'm not going to tell you, because it could be here all night. Okay. So, as you can see, it looks nice and new. I'll make it nice and big for you. Hold on a second. You see what I mean? LEDs, that's under system. Shall I see what that is? I don't mind. Let's have a look. LED resistance calculated for those components. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that'd be interesting, isn't it? That's all right. Yeah. If you like that sort of thing. Uh, Midnight Mysteries over there. So, right. Android uses Tropical Storm Front. $10. Mmm. Tropical Storm Front Light. Free. Do you see what that is? Let's have a look. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Oh, so RTS game. You know what? I might give that a go. Ooh, but it does need OpenGL ES. Okay. So keep that in mind. I might go and give that a go, I think. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, that's enough of that. Goodbye. See you later. That was the software centre. Okay. Also, you've got help about XFC and log out. If I go click on log out, you'll see a log out screen. And that's what you get there. But we're not going to use that just yet, are we? No, we're not. Okay. So, I'll grab the old browser for you, which is Firefox, of course. I'm not going to install any programs around just yet. It's not really worth it, really. Remember, in my last video I've done on the beta, I did show you the keyboard shortcuts for using XFC more um, easily, should we say. But if you want to go and download it, this is where you go. So if you go to get Zubuntu, and basically you get it for your format. So I'm getting it from the UK, so I'll just click there, okay? And here you get a choice from, this is from the University of Kent, there's another one as well. You get the 64-bit and you get the 32-bit and that's uh, ISO for either, of course. There's also an alternate CD and DVD. If you've not got a lot of RAM and you don't have the desktop, you just want a text-based installer. It is really, really quick, by the way, and you don't need hardly any RAM to do it either. So that's even better, really. So yeah, that's that out of the way. Now, I've not installed Flash or anything on here at the moment for doing stuff, because I've already got it on a different system. Yes. Now, you're going to say, are you using it straight away, Sneaky? No, I'm not, to be honest with you. No. After the palaver ride with Ubuntu 1204, I'm going to leave it till July and all the things have ironed out. Then I will install it and see how we go. So for the time being, I'm still using 1104, chaps. Yes. For a simple reason, it's so bleeding stable. 1110 didn't do it for me, but it did for other people. So I'll be just waiting until around about July when they've ironed all the things out. Mind you saying that, this has only been out a couple of weeks and there's quite a few updates. And it did sort a lot of issues out that some people had. So there. How many am I going to give it? 92 out of 100 because it's so good. It gets more than Ubuntu from me. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.